Deb Crow has been canning salmon all her life. I grew up in Alberta, but I made tea with Manitoba ties, and I didn't have deep-rooted family recipes handed down to me. So today, Deb will share this recipe with me. Like, who do you teach? Just anybody, or like, did you pass it down through your family? Whoever wants to learn, yeah, right? Because it's like, you know, people go through different stages in life, and like my family, I think it's because I do it. They really don't need to. Yeah. But one day they will need to. For the people of the Okanagan, there's a lesson about how salmon helped humans survive. For Deb, it shows why the fish are so much more than just a food source. The animals could still talk. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, all things on, on Mother Earth had a voice. The creator came and told them, we've got these new beings that are coming. They're two-legged, they have no fur, they've got nothing on their feet to uh, protect them. They're kind of pitiful. <laughs> <laughs> and he says, we need to help them. It really gets to me, this story. Because I just love what we're doing with salmon right now. Yeah. But they each came forward and um, Saskatoon Berry says, I'll offer myself and all of mine, my relatives, to feed them. And um, salmon says, I offer myself and all of my relatives in the water to feed the people. Bitterroot says, I'll offer myself and all of my relatives who grow in the ground to feed the people. And Skimhist, four legged, represents four legged. He said, I'll offer myself and all the rest of the four legged to feed them, and our skin can help to clothe them which is a major sacrifice that they gave to be able to welcome the two-legged to their world. If you're looking for salmon in Penticton, the Kruger House is where you go. We got two fillets and a whole salmon, so... Yeah. Lucas is in charge of making dinner. I'm not only feeding myself, or my dad or even the whole household, feeding my family, my, uh, my extended family, feeding the community. I'm really proud of the fishers uh, in my family because we, 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 do, we tend to slay a lot. But the salmon in the Okanagan weren't always so abundant. Because of overfishing, habitat degradation and damming along the Columbia River, the fish neared extinction. Away from me for such a long time and it comes back, we wanted to come back stronger and healthy. And, John was chief of the Penticton the Indian Band when the hatchery home. opened in 2014. It's one of his proudest accomplishments. That pride, like you, you talk about when you talk about the salmon, like, like where do you think that comes from? I think it just comes from something coming back to where it rightfully is supposed to be. Mm -hmm. The salmon is one of our food chiefs. Yeah. And that's coming back full circle, so it's bringing our culture back. The salmon have bounced back because of the hatchery. 4.9 million fry will be released into lakes and creeks in the area in a matter of weeks. We one day overall, eventually, we will have to back away and everything's going to be self-sustainable on its own. The end goal not to have the hatchery at all. Exactly. Work myself out of a job. Uh, I don't think we'll ever get to a point where we have too many fish. Every year, the community releases millions of fry from the hatchery into Shingle Creek. Youth from the community are there to send them on their way. For me, being a salmon warrior is teaching little kids. We're the caretakers of the land, of the water, of the animals, and if we're not going to do it, who is? When I was growing up, I didn't have anybody that passed down recipes to me the way Deb taught me how to can salmon. And that was because you can't pass down what was taken from you. And I think that's why the salmon in the Okanagan is so important to people like Deb. And so she's able to continue to teach youth and people not even in her family, but other youth in her community and 
people like me how to do these things that she grew up doing. You can hear the lids pop. That's a good sign. Look at that. One of the things that I think Deb taught me that really stuck with me was when we took the spare parts of the salmon down to the water and she said that the land remembers the DNA of that fish and it's important to give it back. Part of who we are, like they fed our ancestors. So when we, make, we say prayers and give offerings to our ancestors, when I give them salmon, you better believe they're happy to get salmon. Mm -hmm.